I've been staring at the Instagram screen for like a solid five minutes now because I can't decide exactly what it is that I want to say. So I've just decided to start taping because I think that I probably just won't say anything if I don't just start taping. I really hate how Instagram makes me feel, I think. And I hate how Twitter and any kind of social media makes me feel. Whether I'm looking at other people's lives or how I portray my life, I just hate the whole thing. I hate it. I think that there's something super wrong with staring at other people that much. And I think there's something really wrong with staring at yourself that much. It's like walking around with a mirror up to yourself all day long. You don't even look at people's eyes. You look at how you come off to them. Like you're watching yourself in a dream. And it's funny because social media can be a really beautiful thing. I'm not like condemning social media. I think that there are loads of, you know, like examples of when it's been used for good and when it's brought people together and blah, blah, blah. And I know all of that, but I don't think that that's, it's not exclusively what it is. And I suppose it's all about defining, because like, why am I even making this video right now if I'm talking about social media in this kind of light? And I guess it's all about kind of finding your way of positively using something that can be super insidious, but then how do you keep the insidious thing at the door? It's just like way too much information. Like we're not, humans are not meant to have that much information put into their brains. We're meant to have simpler means of communication. We're meant to think about simpler things. Happiness is a simple emotion. Anxiety is super real and it's because of how complicated we're making everything. But then it's weird because in our society now, it's like if you feel like participating at all and feeling connected to what's going on around you and the people around you, that means you stay connected on, on this kind of stuff. But then it leads to like a group depression. We're all depressed. I don't remember what I was saying or where I left off. <laughs> I stared off in the space for a long time. <laughs> but I just can't decide. I can't decide if I want to delete everything or if I want to just be like real and open and honest and live my life like this because I don't know what's more important for me to feel connected to everybody else or to myself. Can I do both? I can't decide if I can do it all or if I have to pick and choose. And I guess that's kind of like growing up. I can't decide if, if not being able to do it all is me being afraid of my own abilities or or being honest. But I guess all that like really matters is is whatever turns out to be true for you is what's true for you. And I, because you're the one who's perceiving the world, whatever turns out to be true for you is what turns out to be true. Because there is no true or false. It's all just our own individual perception. And I don't know why I feel the need to put all this on camera right now and then put it out in the world. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I'm doing it because I want to be doing it. So maybe some good will come of it. Instincts are typically... I think I started this whole thing because I wanted to talk about how fear and love are opposite things and how you can't live your life if you're living in fear and you can only live it in love, so... I didn't talk about that, but that's true. <laughs> All of this is to say that I'm, I'm in a really good place right now, and I know that I couldn't have gotten there unless I'd kind of separated myself from this a little bit, and I think I'm going to continue to do that and focus more on, like, getting in touch with what I really think and feel, because you lose that. You lose that when you hear other people will. So yeah, there's really no point in me posting any of this except to say that I'm starting to do some human worky workness on myself. And maybe if you see me doing it, you'll see that it's okay to do it. I don't know. None of, none of this is real. If there's a way that I can say this without it sounding like I'm telling you what to do, don't put any stake on any of this. This doesn't mean anything, doesn't define you, doesn't have any bearing on your soul or your worth or your self-worth. Um, you have to find that for yourself. It's not here. It's not on here. And I will have days where I'm fully made up, glam, whole thing. I'll be doing that. I'm an actress, but um, but yeah, I'm. That's that's not life, you know. That's like sometimes life. That's not life, and and it's not. That's not what matters. My stylist and, and really close friend just called me because he was like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> I'm great. Um, this is a really positive, super long chain of Instagram stories that I've never done before. I love you guys, and that's basically it.